The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 7th Canto, 6th Chapter, Text Number 11 through 13, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 27th of June, 1976, in New Brindavan, West Virginia. Sri Rupam Translation. How can a person who is most affectionate to his family, the core of his heart, being always filled with their pictures, give up their association? Specifically, a wife is always very kind and sympathetic and always pleases her husband in a solitary place. Who could give up the association of such a dear and affectionate wife? Small children talk in broken language, very pleasing to hear, and their affectionate father always thinks of their sweet words. How could he give up their association? One's elderly parents and one's son and daughters are also very dear. A daughter is especially dear to her father, and while living at her husband's house, she is always in his mind. Who could give up that association? Aside from this, in household affairs, there are many decorated items of household furniture, and there are also animals and servants. Who could give up such comforts? The attached householder is like a silkworm, which weaves a cocoon in which it becomes imprisoned, unable to get out. Simply for the satisfaction of two important senses, the genitals and the tongue, one is bound by material conditions. How can one escape? Part part also did. Purport by the Divine Grace Srila Prabhupada. In household affairs, the first attraction is the beautiful and pleasing wife, who increases household attraction more and more. One enjoys his wife with two prominent sense organs, namely the tongue and the genitals. The wife speaks very sweetly. This is certainly an attraction. Then she prepares very palatable foods to satisfy the tongue. And when the tongue is satisfied, one gains strength in the other sense organs, especially the genitals. Thus the wife gives pleasure in sexual intercourse. Household life means sex life. Janmaitunadi grihamedhi sukham hituch chang. This is encouraged by the tongue. Then there are children. A baby gives pleasure by speaking sweet words in broken language. And when the sons and daughters are grown up, one becomes involved in their education and marriage. Then there are one's own father and mother to be taken care of. And one also becomes concerned with the social atmosphere and with pleasing his brothers and sisters. A man becomes increasingly entangled in household affairs, so much so that leaving them becomes almost impossible. Thus the household becomes griham anda kupam, a dark well into which the man has fallen. For such a person to get out is extremely difficult unless he is helped by a strong person, the spiritual master, who helps the fallen person with the strong rope of spiritual instruction. A fallen person should take advantage of this rope and then the spiritual master or the supreme personality of Godhead Krishna will take him out of the dark well. So, two ways. One way is the entanglement. This kind of happy life, household life, uh, people, 99.9 percent, they are after this happiness. This is described very nicely in this verse. Uh, the idea is that this material world, we are entangled with this body, and anything belonging to the body, we are misconceiving that this body am. And anything in relationship with the body is mine. That is going on 
in different names, family, society, community, nation, so on so on, country. The basic principle is that I have this body and anything in relationship with this body, we are concerned with do these two things. There are thousands and thousands of women, but one woman or one man with whom I have got bodily relationship, I think, she is my wife, she is my, she is my husband. This is due to bodily relationship. And the attachment increases the more the basic principle of instruction of Prahlad Maharaj began the Komaramacharit Prakha, Dharman Bhagavatani. From the very beginning of life, children should be educated about Bhagavad Dharma. If they are not educated from the very beginning of life, these are the chances of forgetting. Forgetting means to be subjected to the waves of Maya. There are different phases of Maya. One is attached to the family, one is attached to the animals, one is attached to the country, society, so on, so on. The attachment of this material, it may be in different names. But the Krishna consciousness means detached. That was they are so nicely described here by Pallad. The real business is detachment of this material. So long we'll have a, a pinch of attachment with this material world and enjoyment, there is no possibility of perfection. But that pinch of little attachment we have to accept the body. No longer pramatta kurusi become. And as soon as we get body, we become involved with so many things uh, that we are preparing another next life. Here these verses came, Janamai Sanadi Grihami, this would make a jump, Kandayani, Nakarevo, Rivadukha Dukham. The real purpose of life is how to become detached from this material. That is perfection. Uh, but people are uh, being educated how to become attached. That is the difference between Krishna consciousness and so called human civilization. But the thing can be made easy if we uh, attach our mind to Krishna just like we are actually doing. It is not that we are all liberated persons. We have got so many attachments with family, wife, wife, with country. But along with it, if we try to increase our attachment for Krishna, automatically there will be detachment, automatically, without anybody separately. Vāsudevi Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Prayodhika. Vasudev Krishna. If we become engaged in Bhakti Yoga, Bhakti Yoga means Savanam, Kitanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padasivanam, Archanam, Bandhanam, Dasam, Sakham, Matunivedanam. It is Pungsadvita. All for Krishna hear about Krishna, chant about Krishna, Savanam Kirtana, Vishnu, not for others. Uh, hearing and chanting Vishnu, uh, Smaranam, remembering Krishna, Archanam, this is Archanam, Bandhanam, offering prayer, Dasam, to act as his servant, uh, to spread his glories, that is Bandhanam, Dasam, Sakham, to take Krishna as most dear friend. Uh, for a friend, one friend can do anything. Dasam, Sakham, Atmanivedana. 
and Bali Maharaj gave everything for Krishna. Uh, Bali Maharaj conquered even after the heavenly kingdom. So Krishna and Vishnu is always in favor of the demigods. They were in difficulty. So Bhavandhe went to Bali Maharaj for begging some land. So Bali Maharaj agreed to give him land. In other words, Maitri, Bali, Bhavandev took everything of Bali Maharaj. He also gave everything. So this is Bhakti Mahārāja. If we follow these principles of Bhakti Mahārāja, we do not require to endeavor separately how to become detached. The detachment automatically follows. Vāsudevi bhagavati bhakti yoga prayajita janayati āsū vairāgyam. Vairāgyam is detachment. The bhakti yoga is known also as vairāgyam. Vairāgyam. The Sarvama Bhattacārya wrote verses about this vairāgyam. Vairāgyam vidyā nija bhakti yogaṁ Sikhatameka Purusa Purana Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sarira Dhari Kipam Buddhi Jastamam Prabhupada. Here is Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Krishna Himself. He has come to teach us Bhairagavi. It is a little difficult, uh, very difficult for ordinary person to understand this Bhairagavidya. Their business is how to increase attachment for this world. And Krishna consciousness movement is how to increase detachment for this material. Therefore it is called Bhairagavidya. This is Bhairagavidya can be very easily achieved, just like it is recommended, Vāsudevi Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Prayajita. Janayati āsū vairāgya. Very soon. Very soon. Janayati āsū vairāgya. Gyanancha. Two things required in human life. One thing is gyanam. Gyanam vijñānam māsvikram brahma-karmāṁ savāvayam. This gyanam means beginning of gyanam. Means I am not this body. I am spiritual. That is gyan. And as soon as one is situated in that platform of gyana, it is easy. That people are engaged everywhere for the benefit of this body. But if one understands, he comes to the platform of gyana, then naturally he becomes detached. But I am not this body. Why I am working so hard for this body? Gyanam chanda other ahitukam. Automatically, two things are required. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has many many places. He has stressed on this, and by his life, he is teaching Gyanam and Bhairag. One side Gyanam. It is teaching to Rupa Goswami, one side, yeah, teaching to Sanatana Goswami, teaching to talking with Sarvamu Bhattacharya, Prakasananda, Sarasati, talking with Ramananda Raya. We have given all these things in our teaching, teaching Sala of Chaitanya. That is Jnana, and by his example in his whole life, taking sannyas, he is teaching Bhairāgya. Gyan and Buddha. These two things are required. So not all of a sudden we can be situated on the platform of Gyanam and Bhairagam. But if we practice, it is possible. It is possible. Not that it is impossible. That is the comment that Vasudevi Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Pra Janayati Yasu Bhairag. That is required. So the Krishna consciousness moment 
is for achieving jnanam and vairāgya. If we become too much attached to this material world, and how we become attached, the vivid description is given by Pallad Maharaj. The wife, the children, the house, the animal, servant, furniture, the dress, and so on, so on, so on, so many things. People are working so hard, day and night, only for these things. It's not nice bungalow, nice uh, animal, nice, so many things we see. What for? So increase attachment. If we increase attachment, there is no question of being free from this material bondage. So we have to practice this attachment. So this practicing, there are many recommendations. The Bhairagya, Samsa Brahma Chajjena, Samena Damena Va, Tajena, Sattva Saucha Bhyam, Jamena Niyamena Va. That I recommend this. Tapasya. This is called tapasya. To achieve Vairāgyam, it requires tapasya. But the one thing is that Vāsudeva Parāyana. Kechit Kevalaya Bhaktya Vāsudeva Parāyana. Dhunnanti Aghaṁ. Nihāra meo bhāskara. The example is very, in the morning we see here, every day, mist, and as soon as the sun rises, immediately everything finished, clear. Nihāra meo bhāskara. Kevala kevala, kechit kevala ya bhaktya, tunnanti yaghaṁ pāpaṁ nihāra meo bhāskara. So, there are so many items to understand this Vairāgya Vidya or to practice. The first practice is Brahmacharya, celibacy, tapasā Brahmacharya, you know. So many items. But if one one takes to Vāsudeva Bhakti, Vāsudeva Bhagavati, they will teach it kevalaya bhakti. Kevalaya means only uh, by bhakti process. One can attain all success, jnana vairāgya. So we are situated, we are at least being trained up in bhakti-yoga, and if we strictly follow dhira-vṛta, dhira-vṛta, that is the word, dhira-vṛta, with firm determination, then in one life we can learn this vairāgya vidya, nija bhakti yoga and go back home, back to God. That is possible. It is not impossible. But ordinarily it is very, very difficult. Uh, therefore, Prahlad Maharaj is giving so much description, uh, detail, how we are becoming attached. Uh, but our real business is how to become detached. Unless we give up parang dhishtāni unless we have got the Taste for the better thing, the inferior things we cannot give up. By cultivation of bhakti yoga, by this process, Savanam, Kirtana, Vishnu, we can get the taste of bhakti yoga, then it is possible to give up this attachment for this material world. This is possible, Adho Siddhya, Tato Sadhu Sangha, Bhajanakya tata anatha nivittisya tato nishtha tato ruchi tata asakti, asakti, asakti tato bhava sadhakāna nāyantrema pādudbhāde bhavatprama. The real business is how to increase our love, proportional love for Krishna. Then everything proportionately will come and then our life will be successful. Thank you very much.